this is part four about working with net cisco sd event solutions uh, thank you orange stone face for your comment about restricted net that um, he gave us the definition of restricted net where all requests are from the same internal ip address and port are mapped to the same external ip address uh, so let's talk more about this net net network address translation environment gives some challenges and there are some different uh, session traversal utilities for net simple traversal of user datagram protocol stun stun methods net traversal and there are some variations in the net environment network address translated environment there are some features a network address translation allows hosts with private ip address in a local area network to communicate with devices in public address spaces for example through internet Network devices configured with network address translation, they can function and, um, as a hardware firewalls to prevent unwanted data traffic uh, passing through when edge routers to lo local area networks. In the service side networks connected to the when edge router and to enhance the security at branch sites, you can place this edge when one router behind network address translation device or behind the firewall. The when edge router can interact with network address translation device configured with the um, following um, list of um, uh, stun methods like a session traversal utilities for net stun methods which are four they include full con net address restricted con net port restricted con net and symmetric net and not functions uh, that uh, used at branch sites should be considered in Cisco SD-WAN design. Uh, NAT can um, affect whether sites can form connections and communicate directly with each other. All network and translation functions can create mappings to source IP address, source port, destination IP address and destination port in an IP network packet. Uh, network address translation allows to use private IP addresses in a local area network to communicate with hosts on public, public address spaces, for example, on internet. Network and translation devices also function as hardware firewalls to prevent unwanted data traffic from reaching a WAN edge router and then reaching side-to-side um, -side local area network uh, which is connected to the edge router. Uh, and to uh, so if we place it behind net, it's considered to be more secure. And by default, Cisco um, SD-WAN devices use a special port 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 for establishing connections that control and uh, data traffic in the overlay network. Each device uses port when establishing connections with other Cisco SD-WAN routers. 
Mm. And when we connect mm, is Cisco SD-WAN network overlay, port hopping is the process where routers try different various ports when attempting to establish connections with each other. Um, and software uh, rotates uh, through five base ports waiting for longer for each community connection attempt and these uh, default ports are one two three four six and there are port hoppings done sequentially among ports uh, one two three four six one two three six six one two three eight six one two four oh six and one, two, four, two, six. And then it returns back to one, two, three, four, six. Um, so there is a, like two edges behind the same net. They configure offset. Port hopping happens on different ports and it adds that increment. Uh, so we talked about full cone net, uh, which is one to net one static net, uh, address restricted cone net, port restricted cone net, and symmetric net. A little bit more about full cone net. Uh, you can use full cone net to map an internal address and port with an external address and port. Any external host can send packets to local area network devices behind the uh, WAN H router by accessing them to the external address and port. H routers always reach to the VBOND controller first to learn about the rest of components in the traffic. During this process, they learn if they're behind that network address translation device. When H router initially connects to VBond, it inserts real IP address into the exchange. And then this packet goes through a um, net device and the source IP, possibly a port, could be translated. And because the message still contains when H um, real IP and port, uh, VBond, can, VBond can send message back to the H router. Um, and message will notify that uh, when H router is behind network address translation because like a real IP address is different from the network address translated IP address. And that age router uh, then inserts this information into its uh, OMP, overlay management protocol. And uh, TLOC, uh, transfer locator, route sends it to vSmart. Uh, if these values are different, then H is behind net. And the information uh, show, show is shown in overlay and routers use this information to build a data plane. Uh, the way to archive is um, uh, 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 the way the way to achieve, uh, to achieve um, that net detection is by using uh, that stun and um, it can be achieved with uh, overlay management protocol t lock route from vsmart route to the age router in address restricted net, net 
um, addresses have to match with uh, previously created address mappings and they any external host can send packet to an internal IP address of an internal device uh, init when it initiates connection to the external host. Uh, so, in other words, like external host can send packets to the internal IP address and port by sending packets to the same address and port, but only if internal IP address and port have previously sent a packet to the external host. Um, in port restricted con net is the same like restricted con net, but little bit more restricted. Um, it, it includes also ports. It is a strict version of address restricted con net, ARCN, port restricted only if the internal socket has previously sent a packet to an external host and port. Uh, this method is similar to address restricted, but redirection includes port numbers. After the internal IP address and port, which have a like socket, map to external address and port packet from internal socket can send through to the exter uh, through an external uh, socket and external host can send packets to the internal socket by sending packets to the external circuit only if the internal circuit has previously sent packet for external host and port. So it should be like initiated internally. Uh, symmetric net um, is request from the same in, uh, internal circuit to a specific destination. IP address and port is mapped to a unique external source socket. Like only the external host that receives a packet from an internal host can send the packet back. And when H routers uh, support symmetric net only on one side of WAN tunnel. That is when when H router operates behind net device and it is a running symmetric net. Only one uh, network address translation device um, at either end of the tunnel can use symmetric net. So they cannot both be behind net, um, right? The WAN edge router that is behind the symmetric net cannot establish a BFD tunnel with a remote WAN edge router that is behind symmetric net, address restricted net, or port restricted net. And to allow um, a WAN edge router to function behind a symmetric net, you need to configure the vManage and vSmart uh, control connections to use TLS, DTLS control connections. Um, with, uh, so it should be uh, with TLS and DTLS control connections will not work in symmetric net. Uh, there are some uh, net traversal combinations um, you can check them when you are configuring it. Um, there are like configuration groups over you, view and uh, configuration groups are built on, from feature profiles. Each feature profile contains individual feature configurations. 
on the east coast just LTE and internet system profile and service profile should be matched uh, net traversal um, could be like a uh, dual sided full cone for net traversal dual sided full cone workflow we bond discovers post net public ip address and it communicates back to the edge routers when edge routers notify the smart controllers of the post net public ip address net network devices enforce no filter for net detection to work in cisco sdvn uh, when age routers always reach out first to the bond orchestrator at the startup the v bond automatically detects uh, if it is um, net function in a, in this path and the bond orchestrator acts as a stun server the bond orchestrator receives packet in which the van edge router puts its own IP address and source port into the payload. The bond orchestrator informs uh, the edge routers about how network address translation is deployed and when edge routers communicate um, to these smart controllers. The these smart controllers give information announce, announce to public addresses to other uh, when age routers and then they all can communicate. Uh, another example is net transversal full cone and symmetric. Uh, in this example, in net traversal cone and symmetric, a V bond discovers post net public IP address and communicates back to when age. When age router notify V smart on the post net public IP address. Symmetric net device um, enforce filtering and it allows traffic only from the bond. When edge router behind the symmetric network address translation reaches out to the remote edge router and then net entry will be created and remote when age uh, will learn new symmetric net source port uh, it's uh, when remote when age router learns new symmetric net source it is happening in data plane learning and if any uh, well, like one side uses symmetric net it will accept only inbound connections and after that it is in a initiated outband connection in the same destination for example when uh, when edge router a can cannot send packet to when edge router b the reason is uh, from perspective of when age router B, it does not have that in outbound connection yet. Um, but by the way, when uh, when age router B, um, which is behind symmetric net, reaches to when a when age router A behind full cone net, the uh, connection will be successful and connections can be established in um, opposite directions uh, 
So next uh, chapter will be about managing device configuration. Thank you for attention. See you next time. Bye.